Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I found an article that you're going to absolutely love. I'm gonna have a link to this article down in the description. Now, if you're in the market to buy a house, sell a house, or if you're in the rental market, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this article because things are going a little bit haywire these days, especially in the housing market, and you kinda of wanna make the best decision possible. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm just kind of like my channel is about highlighting the housing market by showing you different articles and I kind of do the hard work I kind of read the articles for you I give a little bit of my analysis but it's really important that you know uh, you guys comment down below and, and turn this into a conversation because things are getting really spicy out there now here let's start with this article check this out it starts the US housing market has gone cold Low financing costs, excess savings, and demand for more space during the pandemic fueled the frenzy in the housing market that set home prices surging. Home buyers are now confronting an increasing an affordable housing market that has been plagued by shortages. Yeah, so, right, and the, really the reason that the home prices went surging was because there was a low, uh, there was a low inventory, which, which happened because, I mean, if you think about it, we have, you know, many few people wanted to sell their house during the pandemic because we were in a pandemic. We had no idea what was happening. I mean, we're literally in lockdowns. So, you know, the the few people that took advantage early on with the low interest rates trying to get into houses, I mean, they really won. But, you know, as the year went on during 2021, you know, it just it it sent homes to unbelievable prices. Now, remember, with, when you have rates as low as they are, you know, not everybody in their economy is usually hurting, right? There's a lot of people that have access to that money that, that have the ability to borrow more. And those people came in and just, you know, basically hedged against inflation. They decided to put their money in properties because, it, you know, it's always better to buy properties when you, when you fear inflation is coming. So basically, end of the story, you know, um, basically it sent home prices surging. Now, here, as we keep reading, home buyers are now confronting an increasingly unaffordable housing market that has been plagued by shortages, and the Federal Reserve is forcing a higher costs in recent months. Housing activity has cooled off considerably. So, you know, with the inflation, obviously, the Feds have been raising the rates, which has been making things kind of nuts out there. Now, check this out. Housing is likely, housing is likely just the beginning of a, the recession. Of course, a large amount of activity was pulled forward during the pandemic and then you layer on top the sharp rise in interest rates, uh, a housing was sure to fall hard. Now it hasn't fallen hard uh, as of yet, I mean there are some signs that it is dropping but in general it hasn't dropped that much. Now uh, I think tomorrow the feds are raising the uh, interest rates up by 0.75, maybe more. And if that is the case, you're going to see housing like really slow down. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to lower the prices. The only people that are going to be lowering, lowering the prices, the sellers, are the people that need to get out, right? The people that, you know, you could see a situation where, you know, if you inherit the house, you know, one of your parents passed, whatever, and you inherit a house and you have some siblings and you know one of the siblings is like hey i want money i want the money they're going to be a lot more eager to sell than someone who you know basically maybe wants to upgrade their house you know or maybe wants to buy a second house they're not going to be or i'm sorry um maybe yeah like i said someone wants to upgrade their house they want to sell their house and get into something else they're going to be a lot less eager under this situation because they know that whatever house they want to get into they're going to be paying a lot more higher interest rate for that house so they're going to be like hey you know what i'm not ready to sell so i still think even though we're going to raise interest rates tomorrow i do still think we're going to have an inventory problem we're going to see the inventory in my opinion start to to really uh, open up if the economy really starts going into a recession and people need that money, right? Suddenly you're going to have situations where people might need to downsize or people, you know, might not be able to afford their mortgage. So they have to foreclose and they might stop paying their mortgage. So these are all scenarios that can happen. I, I, and I know that these scenarios sound awful and like, I don't mean to sound like a pessimist, but in you have to understand that in order to bring the housing market down to an affordable level, it's going to hurt, right? It's gonna hurt. 
uh, it's it, the economy is going to be in a bad place if that happens. Now, when the economy is good, you're going to see prices going up, right? And and that's not where we are ne right now necessarily. But if for those people who have you know good W two jobs, this is the perfect time to really save up and get into a house because in the next two. I believe, you know, a lot of people are saying in the next year we're going to see, see a big price drop, but I believe it's going to be in the next two to three years where we're going to see the best deals. So really our job right now is to really save as much as possible. Now here, as we continue reading, according to Zillow's monthly housing market report released Tuesday, month, the monthly mortgage payments on the average U.S. home was 1600 in June up 4.5% uh, from a month ago and 62% from a year ago. That's insane. I mean, that is insane, guys. That's, you know, that's gonna hurt. I mean, that's, people are making everything with inflation, everything is costing more money and now people are paying that much more money for, uh, for their mortgage. Again, you can thank the cash flush consumers for helping fuel the housing market boom that has cost, caused home prices to surge over the past two years. Most recently, the feds have been, fight, uh, have been tightening financial conditions, which has come with surging mortgage rates. This has made affordab affordability worse. According to Freddie Mac, the average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage was 5.4 as of July 2021. And remember, tomorrow the rates go up. So this right here, 5.54, is going to be closer to 6 to 7% tomorrow or after tomorrow, whatever. High income price home mortgage rates have turned off potential home buyers. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, mortgage purchase and refinancing application last activity last week fell to its lowest in 22 years. Oh my God, you know, I know some people in the mortgage industry, they're probably gonna be hurting, but what? See, here's the deal. Anyone who's worked in the mortgage industry, they've had an amazing two years. I'm talking the people that I know have been making in the millions, right? Uh, so, you know, if they're going down to basically selling no loans now, you know, they've made plenty of money in the last few years to make up for any anything for the future, right? Like they could wait, wait out the storm, but it's going to be a while that, you know, they might not be making too much money the rest of the year. Purchase activity declined for both conventional and government loans as the weakening economy outlook, high inflation, and persistent affordability ch challenges are impacting buyer demand. So yeah, this is it's starting to it's starting to crack little by little, guys, little by little. Both mortgage rates and home prices have risen too sharply in too short a uh, span of time. That is the problem. Both mortgage rates and home prices have risen too sharply in too sh too uh, in a short span of time. That is that is a very big, big problem because, again, our jobs haven't given us more uh, money every month, right? Production bottlenecks, rising home pricing costs, and high inflation are causing many builders to halt construction co because of the cost of land. Construction and financing exceeds the market value of the home. So again, there's less uh, companies now building homes, so it's even making the supply even less, which is making houses a little bit even more expensive, or at least propping up that high price, which is set to come down uh, pretty soon, I believe, at least, you know. Okay, here, let me continue reading. Apart from the April 20... This was the largest one month decline in the 37 year history of the series. So basically, uh, we had a big decline here in home sales. I mean, uh, new home starts. And then right here, we've had the second drop. Now, this was caused because we basically shut down. Everything got shut down. Everyone had to stay home. This was right at the height of the pandemic. And then now after the pandemic, look at that. Just a big, big drop. Um, similar to 08, very similar to 08, kind of crazy. So uh, here, let me continue reading. On average, 7.3% of homes for sale each week have dropped in price, a record high uh, uh, as far back as the data goes through the beginning of 2015. So people are dropping their prices, but still, you know, that's 7.3% of homes for sale each week have dropped their prices. You know, um, they're, this is this number is going to go up, definitely. But how much are they going to drop is the big question. So here, here, check this out. According to the S and P Global Planimer, uh, 
preliminary U.S. manufacturing PMI report released Friday, the headline index dropped 47.5 in July from 52.7 in June. Any reading below 50 uh, signals contra uh, contraction. This is this was the first sub 50 point, uh, print since June 2020. So that's not good. Uh, apparently, we might be heading into a global recession. According the excluding the pandemic lockdown months, output is falling at a rate not seen since 09 amid the global financial crisis, with the survey data indicating the GDP falling at an annualized rate of approximately 1%. That is not good, guys. Manufacturing has stalled and service sectors rebound from the pandemic has gone into reverse. As a tailwind of a pent up demand has been overcome by the rising cost of living, higher interest rates and growing gloom about the economy outlook. The big picture, and, and here, let's finish out this article. We continue to live in a world where the Federal Reserve has been trying to slow down the economy by bull, uh, bludgeoning financial markets in its efforts to get inflation down. Indeed, markets have been doing ter terribly and the economic data has turned decidedly south, but prices of some stuff, including gasoline, have been coming down. But it may, be, may still be difficult to argue that inflation is moving lower in a clear and convincing way, which means we should expect the Fed to remain very hawkish. The Fed uh, hold its regular monetary policy on Tuesday and Wednesday, today and tomorrow. And the conclusion, the Fed Chair, uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell will update us on the central bank's assessment of inflation and its first outlook uh, and its outlook on the monetary policy. A hawkish or dovish tilt in powell's tone could spark volatility in the markets we're starting to see it in the crypto too so guys tell me what you guys think now look honestly if you have a good job right now is the time to save pay off the of your debt don't take on any more debt because you're gonna have amazing buying opportunity opportunities you know and uh in especially in the housing market so i want you guys to uh to be careful out there Try to make good financial decisions and save your money and pay off your debt. Now, I'm not a financial analyst, but I do make these videos for fun and I really love, you know, talking about real estate. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Thanks again. See you on the next video.